Born in 1921 in Seattle, Washington, Joseph Sutter began his revolutionizing career simply building model planes. Growing up near Boeing's Seattle plant, Sutter became very familiar with aviation from an early age as he would stop to watch the planes take off and land as he did his Georgetown paper route. In 1939, Sutter enlisted in the NROTC and enrolled at the University of Washington to pursue aeronautical engineering. During his time at school, Sutter worked part-time as an entry-level aerodynamicist at Boeing Plant II before graduating with his bachelor's in 1943. That same year, Joe was drafted into the armed forces and served as a junior officer aboard the destroyer escort Edward H. Allen during the Second World War. As a young U.S. veteran, Joe was offered a job at both Douglas and Boeing before choosing the latter in 1946. It was at Boeing when Sutter began to work on numerous commercial airplanes, like the Stratocruiser, 367-80, 707, 727, and the 737. After his first assignment working on the problems with Boeing's prop-driven Stratocruiser's flight controls, Joe quickly began to rise through the company ranks, becoming the manager for the new jumbo-sized wide-body airplane known as the Queen of the Skies, the Boeing 747. As the chief engineer, Sutter led the 747 development team from early concept in 1965 to first flight in 1969. This assignment would forever grant him the title as the father of the 747. Sutter continued to work at Boeing before eventually becoming executive vice president for commercial airplane engineering and product development, guiding the development of the 757 and 767. In 1986, after 40 years, Joe Sutter retired from Boeing, but continued to work in aviation, consulting for the Boeing company on the 747-400, 777, 737-NG, 747-8, and 737 MAX. He also served on the Rogers Commission Report, a presidential commission charged with investigating the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. In 2012, Sutter was a member of the Boeing Senior Advisory Group, which was studying a re-engineering of the then-current Boeing 737. After a lifetime of work in aviation, Joseph Sutter died on August 30th, 2016, at the age of 95. Sutter received numerous awards for his lifelong work with Boeing, such as the Daniel Guggenheim Medal, the Wright Brothers Memorial Trophy, and the United States Medal of Technology for his contributions to the development of commercial jet aircraft. Tonight, we'd like to award the father of the 747 once more by enshrining Joseph Sutter into the National Aviation Hall of Fame.